guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a Target haul. And I'm gonna say that this is a mini Target haul because I didn't really buy all that much, but you know it's gonna be a long video because I'm just gonna talk about everything for like five hours, so grab a snack. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see more videos from me in the future. So. Without further ado, let's get into this Target haul because like I said, I'm going to be talking and rambling a lot. Firstly, let's go with skincare. These are the Yes2 brand. This is Yes2 cucumbers and Yes2 coconuts. This is the Hydrate and Restore and this is the Calming Soothing. So coconuts and cucumbers. These are rad. I actually have already gone through one of these, so I figured I would pick up one of the cucumber ones. They have a bunch of different ones. They have the tomatoes one, and that one has charcoal in it, which looks pretty cool, and I'm recently very weirdly obsessed with charcoal, so I'm picking that one up next for sure when I go through these guys. So yes to coming clean with coconut extract and micellar water to remove makeup, cleanse, and moisturize all in one without rinsing. That is what got me, that is what appealed to me. I am somebody who wears a lot of makeup, and I like to get it all off when the day is over. Therefore, I have a three or four step process when going to bed and taking off all of my makeup. So step number one is a makeup wipe. Step number two is a face wash. And then step number three is getting everything off with like a little round cotton pad and some sort of toner. And so before I was using one of those, um, the Boots number seven, pink, Toner, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like the ageless one or something like that. That one was good, that one was okay, I didn't have anything against it. But what really got me with this guy, I'm not going to lie to you, is the little pump. So what it is and how it works, you have to twist, like when it's a brand new bottle, there's a little lock and unlock thing on it, you literally have to twist it forever, forever in a day to unlock it. But once you do, the world is your oyster. So basically all you do is you get a cotton round. So it's like this and like there's like nothing comes out when you go like that, which is awesome. And then you take your cotton pad and you go like that and it pumps the micellar water onto your cotton pad, which is awesome. It's very hygienic. So I love that. Not that I double dipped in my toner before anyway, but you know what I mean. It's hygienic, it's cool, I love it. So I can't get enough of this. So that's awesome, I like that. Um, speaking of skincare, we will go into the next purchase, which is the Simple Wipes. So that's these guys here. These are the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleaning, Cleaning? Cleansing facial wipes removes waterproof mascara and kind to skin no harsh chemicals That can upset your skin. I like these I've used them before this is a repurchase I currently am using I'm using up my Neutrogena ones, you know those ones in the little blue package? I hate those, but I'm using them up. I bought a bunch from Costco a while ago, so I'm like, oh, use these up, or like, you know, put them in the guest bathroom for when the guests come over, I don't know. I used to love those things, and I used to think those things were like the bee's knees, and now I hate them, because aside from using these ones, you know which ones are really good is the Costco, the Costco brand. I can't remember if it was Desi Perkins or Lusterlux, but I was watching one of their like haul videos or whatever, and they were talking about how they love the Costco makeup wipes. So I went out and I bought like the like the big case of them, and they're awesome, and I love them. And I'm out. I think I'm out of them right now, so I'm just using up the Neutrogena ones in the meantime until I like go back to Costco again. So yes, I like the simple ones. They're good. Um, and it, they just feel better. And these actually take off your mask, uh, your your makeup. I don't know about waterproof mascara, but they take off my makeup just fine. So I like them a lot. We'll go with this. This is a giant thing of shower gel. This is from Alba Botanica, the very emollient 
bath and shower gel in honey mango. Guys, this smells so good. I think I just got some on my nose. <laughs> so anyways, this smells so good. Anytime I see anything that says it has honey in the scent, I'm there. You had me at honey because I love the smell of honey. So anyways, this is 32 fluid ounces of shower gel. So no parabens, phthalates, or harsh sulfates, 100% vegetarian ingredients. So I'm so natural. I got my Yes 2. I'm so natural with that. My simple cleansing wipes and now my Alba Botanica. You guys. But anyways, it smells great. We will try it. It's supposed to be replenishing moisture for extra dry skin, and it's supposed to be hypoallergenic. But I, I have been using, and I'm not, I'm not finished with the bottle yet, so we'll wait on this. But I have the Soap and Glory shower gel, and it smells amazing. But I feel like it's kind of drying on my skin, to be honest. So we'll see what the the Alba does. I'm. I'm hoping for good results because it smells amazing. And let's see, more shower and bath stuff. I got these, these are the Epsom salts that Target sells. It's the, um, the Up and Up brand. That's their Target's like generic brand. And I got lavender and I got the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This smells exactly like if you're a fan of that Bath and Body Works uh, Eucalyptus, I think, it, I just think it's Eucalyptus Spearmint. I think that's what it's called. It literally smells exactly like that Bath and Body Works scent and I love the way that smells. So if you like that, you will love this. And the lavender is incredible too. If you like lavender, I'm an old lady and I really like the way lavender smells. So these are great and they're cheap. I should probably list the prices of everything. I always do this. I always forget to list the prices and then I'm halfway through something and I don't have the prices. This was $12.99. These are $3.67 for this huge bag, $3.60. It's three pounds, okay? <laughs> it's like a dollar a pound. There's that, and then these guys, these are $8.99 a piece, and the simple cleansing wipes were $4.99. The next thing I was looking at, okay, we'll go continue with Beauté, guys. This is the NYX Micro Brow Brow Pencil. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully my camera's focusing on it. So this is intended to be a dupe for the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which I have. So I have them to compare next to each other. They're identical, guys. Look at this. Look at this. These are literally, it's the same thing. I'm in like a weird little like brow rut. So I know that sounds like so weird, but I'm in a brow rut right now. I was hunting through YouTube to try to find more redhead brow products because I felt like, I don't know, I saw some pictures or something and I was like, oh, my eyebrows are so brown compared to like the rest of the red in my hair. So I just was like, maybe I'll just use a brow because I was using a powder and I was using the Anastasia. And the Anastasia color that I that I was using and am, I actually have it ran through the ends and then I have this today going through the front and then all the way through, but this is like added into the end. I actually like the NYX pencil better and I'll tell you why. The Anastasia is pigmented, which is good, but I prefer this one. It's, it's a harder formula, like it, the crayon, if you will, or whatever, is much more hard and uh, I feel like the color payoff isn't as good, which is actually what I prefer in a brow product because I do not want instant like marker brow. The Anastasia is also a little bit more like movable, which is not good to me for an eyebrow pencil. 
that's just my personal opinion. I know people are crazy for the Anastasia brow width and I, I still will repurchase it. And like I said, I used it to run through like the tails of my brow today, but like all it's, it's pretty much unnoticeable the difference. I notice the difference though, because I just do. I don't know, it's subtle, but to me it's, it's big. So I personally have tried out the NYX one and I really like it. So that's a win. The, the packaging is definitely like cheaper on this one, even though they look identical, the packaging is definitely cheaper on the NYX one. But whatever, it's so much cheaper. I think the, Ana, the Anastasia Brow Wiz is like $21 or $23 for this guy. And the NYX one was $9.99. So literally like over $10 cheaper. So for $10 cheaper, you can give it a try. And my final beauty item is like a repurchase for like the millionth time. This is the Super Sizer Lash Blast Mascara by CoverGirl and this is the regular one. I usually get very black, but if they're out of the very black, I'll just get black. Because I'm sure there's not really even any difference. It's just like all in my head. So we've got that. I love that. I'm wearing it right now. I'm not wearing lashes. I don't usually wear, I don't know. I don't usually wear lashes because I don't really think that they look good on me. Um, to be honest with you, I just, I don't know. So I got that. I love that. I wear it all the time. I've, that's like my 10th tube. That's the only mascara that I really wear. So I think that's it for beauty. This is a random. This is you know that little dollar section at Target like always gets you. Let me open it so there's not a glare. Isn't this cute? It is just a little notepad. And it says take note. And it's got little, little rose print on it. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. And we're always writing like grocery lists and stuff like that out. So I just figured it would be cute in the downstairs area where we keep all of our notepads, and it was $3. That's awesome. I like that. It was in that little dollar section of Target. Whenever I go there, it's always popping off. People are always over there, like, going crazy, so I know I'm not the only one, Target. You have us hooked with that little dollar section. Um, let's see, so now we're gonna go into clothing and accessories, and, oh wait, no. We're gonna go into, I got, like, vitamins or supplements, whatever, gummies guys got the little gummies so I got three so I got restful sleep which is the little purple guy here I don't know if you can see that and then I got daily energy which is this little green guy and then I got balanced belly so the restful sleep is melatonin L-theanine theanine I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong and botanicals botanicals um this is in the flavor blackberry zen i don't like the flavor but these work i mean if you if, if you take melatonin you know melatonin's melatonin and it works to help you sleep the other vitamins or i call them vitamins they're not vitamins they're supplements they do things for me those are good they taste good but there's like something on the front end of this, like right when you take it, the immediate taste, you're like, eh. I don't know if it's, it's I don't wanna say it's like I, menthol-y or chamomile-y, I have no idea what it is, but I just don't love it. It's fine after a while, but I just don't think it's the best thing ever. Um, this one is Balanced Belly. Like I said, it's for intestinal health, prebiotic and probiotic. Keep things running smoothly. Yeah, it keeps your pipes clean. <laughs> So this one's in peachy peach and it's pretty stinking good. I like the taste of this one. This one's good. And this one is daily energy for steady flow of energy, vitamin B12, CoQ, and goji berry. So what appealed to me mainly about this one is this one says you don't have to take it with food and B12 is good for you. And CoQ10, that's good for your skin. So. I like these, and I don't know what the brand, I don't know how it's pronounced, Oli, 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 I don't know. But, I got these and I'm excited. And, you know, I'm a toddler, so, gummies. I know I could easily just take the supplements on their own with no added sugar, but I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. 
So let's get into clothing and accessories and then we will be done. I will release you to do whatever you're doing. First, these guys caught my eye. These are just little baseball caps. So I got this little olive green color and I got the plain black color. I live in olive green, obviously. Like I just, so the three colors that I wear pretty much on a regular basis are olive green, black, and gray. Like constantly. And then like a little like tan or brown thrown in there, but pretty much those are, those are my colors. And the other thing I live in is leggings tennis shoes, baseball caps, t-shirts. So I just really liked these a lot. Pretty much all of my baseball caps that I have are sports teams or they're like monogrammed or something. So sometimes you just want to have an outfit that's like, it's a casual outfit, but it's like sort of dressed up. So if you have like an outfit that maybe you don't want to like have a big sports team's logo on your head, <laughs> but you still want to wear a ball cap because you don't want to wear a fedora or a, Pan a Panama hat or something, these are great. So I'm sure that if I start doing a little bit more outfit posts on Instagram, you will see me in these because like I said, I would like to pretend that I'm this big fashionista, but I'm not. I used to be, or I used to think I was. Uh, and I'm just not anymore. I just want to be comfortable and casual and I like to have just basics. So those are awesome staple pieces, basics. This, I know that we're literally in like pre pretty much in fall right now, but I thought I would show this cause I bought this a couple of weeks ago. This is a bathing suit top from Target. Isn't this cute? Like. I live for this little tassel here, guys. So stinking cute. So this is by the brand Shade and Shore. So I think it's one of the little Target collabs or something, but I don't know, it's so cute. I was in Los Angeles a few weeks ago for my sister's boyfriend's birthday and she was like, let's do like a pool party or whatever. So I wore this. Um, with, I have a pair of, uh, Luli Fama bottoms. I have a hard time finding bottoms that fit my body shape right. So I tend to like go on the more, um, higher end side of things with my bikini bottoms, but with my tops, girl, Target all the way. And I can't remember how much this was. I don't have the receipt for this one cause I bought it a little while ago but it's so cute. And I saw Buff Bunny wearing this. So I was like, hey, Buff Bunny, we got the same swimsuit, only <laughs> you look really good in it and I've got a jelly roll. Speaking of that, speaking of the bikini and the beach situation, because I do have a jelly roll right now, like I look all slim, look at these slim little arms. I literally have a jelly roll around my midsection. I am smaller up top, but as soon as you reach below my hips, I'm like, bam. I wish I had washboard abs. I don't, I'll work on it. I'll get back to the gym tomorrow, okay? Anyway, so because I, you know, have a little extra something, something in my bikini, I wore this with it, and this is so stinking cute. This is like a, a duster. It's like a little kimono duster. The like pajama thing is really in recently. I've seen a lot of people like incorporating the floral duster. It kind of looks like, is it a bathrobe? No. Is it pajamas? No. It's a duster. And so this basically goes with that kind of theme. It has belled sleeves. It's got pockets. It's so stinking cute. Here's the back. It's just, it's just so gorgeous. So this I know they still have in stock because I was just at Target and I also saw one of the bloggers that I follow. She's a home decor blogger. I can't remember her name, but I saw her in it and I was like, hey, Buff Bunny's got my bikini top and this blogger chick has my duster. I feel like I'm really current, you know? So you can really dress this up or down or like I said, wear it to the beach, wear it to a pool party. 
I wore it also the other day. We went out to, Marcus, my husband and I, went out to dinner with our friends in Berkeley and I wore this with a tight black tank dress some black sandals and you know just jewelry I kind of glammed it up a little bit and this I just threw it over and it looked so cute and like I said it's very trendy so style vibe in here so next like I said before I live in t-shirts so I was really excited about this Target has good band t-shirts and I know, the, I know it's kind of like sellout e, I guess but I don't care I love their t-shirts they're really inexpensive and they have like decent designs on them so this I was so stoked on so when I was in high school I had a Led Zeppelin t-shirt exactly like this like identical to this except it was black not gray and I wore the crud out of that thing like I wore it as much as you could possibly wear it without people going why is that the only shirt you wear <laughs> So basically I saw this shirt and I was like, yes, ode to my teen years. So I got this, I got it in a medium and it shrinks and it basically, this is after like a wash and wear. So it shrinks pretty good, but not like crazy, but I like my t-shirts to not be like super tight on me. So I got the medium and then this, I was so excited about, look at this, Metallica. So I got this, this one hasn't been washed yet. Um, these were $14.99. Come on, guys. You can't beat that. 15 bucks for a band t-shirt. This is cool. This is like a, I don't want to say acid wash because then I'm really dating myself and sounding old. But it's like, I don't know, like a faded, like marled gray color which is cool because it adds texture and interest and stuff but it's still plain i like that it's still plain i love metallica like love metallica but their shirts a lot of the time like their merch is so especially like the old ones like their old albums and stuff like that there's like always like neon green and like blue lightning and all this other stuff and so i would never really go for those shirts i feel like those are um more like dude shirts so i never purchased a metallica shirt until now at target so thank you Target, for making my metallica t-shirt dreams come true so that i love and then finally we have this i was excited about this this is kind of out of my norm for what I would wear. Not the color though, all of green guys. Um, this is just a vest and it's, I don't want to call is it like a cargo vest? I don't know. Military vest? I don't know. But it's cute and then it's got like a little like cinchy deal here so that you could cinch it in. I just thought it was cute and it's a little zip up got pockets it's by the brand that's weird oh a new day I was like uh, because the tag like the way that the tag the way that the tag reads I was just like what is that but anyways it's cute and I would be able to throw it over like just a basic knit black sweater or something neutral throw it on with leggings riding boots a scarf and like a long sleeve like plain sweater and you're good to go so I like this and it was $29.99 so oh it's called a utility vest that's what it says on the tag and I got a small I honestly haven't tried it on yet but I'm sure it'll fit you know like Target smalls are always way bigger than real life smalls when I get a small it's at Target or Express everything else I'm like no I'm a medium or a large girl like I said jelly roll so Anyway, that is it. That is everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had a snack because it's been a while, okay? I will be posting more haul videos in the future. I will be doing fall videos. I just filmed a video that I'm very excited about. It's a tutorial on how to make a little decorative stuffed pumpkin. I know it sounds random, but trust me, you wanna watch that tutorial because fall is right around the corner. Fall is in the air, you guys, okay? <laughs> Soon as Labor Day is over, fall. It's fall. So keep 
watching for new videos coming from me because I will be beefing up my channel. I'm posting a ton of content, wedding advice videos. I just got married. I'm very bossy, so there's gonna be a lot of advice videos, unsolicited advice. Just watch it, guys. It's gonna be awesome. So if you like this video and you like hauls, give it a thumbs up. I will definitely be doing more hauls in the future. I will be doing decorating videos, recipe stuff. Guys, you'll see me in the kitchen. I'm crazy. I'm the worst cook ever, but I will have recipes for you. I'm going to do it all. Subscribe to my channel so that you can see more. Thanks guys. See you later.